motherfucker. Man United won, Brighton 2, United lost the game, game two of the season, but we won the war but lost the battle. I'm here, Houston Red Army, Joe the Mr. Positive Blood, and Mr. Loverman is back on our show. <laughs> right, let's hit this. Um, so, man, what's your take, quickly? Uh, disappointing uh, loss, definitely, man. Uh, that was a game that was very winnable. Uh, if we had just taken uh, our chances a little bit better, uh, we had the opportunity to take that game and see it off. It's just that uh, we had players that disappointed again. Uh, I don't think this lineup, this the starting lineup, is uh, what we need going forward. I think Ted Hogg is spent waste almost wasting the first few games trying to you Gel know appease. Team certain players or maybe there's like a, a workflow in transition the player out there are clearly certain players that should not be in the lineup regardless of what they've done at this team i need names we <laughs> don't be a snitch i need names carry on rashford <laughs> Maguire should not mason mount uh, should not uh, be starters at manchester united football club that is a, that is a they shit should thing. not keep going okay so because we, once we get that going, then because we, we sacrificed again another game, a striker, because what well, we don't want to start Xerxes and then force Mount into the game. If, if it's if it's a matter of Xerxes not being physically fit to play an entire game, I would rather he played the first sixty minutes than the last. You know, right? So okay, love it, man. What's your take? So for me, I think it's just still a matter of gelling. Right. We're trying to gel the Which team. Which I, I agree. Um, yeah. You know, right now the two, for me, the three people, if not even two, the three people who did not that well today um, would be Anana, just partially, not not crazy, but Mainu was surprisingly bad. He was poor. Today. Surprisingly bad, and then Casemiro's still the same from the end of last season, just kind of lost, right? Um, uh. <laughs> for me, what I think. The, the issue is, and Joe and I talked offline uh, earlier about this, was that Brighton is not the team to judge the season on because Brighton doesn't play like premiership teams. They don't play with the midfield, right? If you saw early in the game, they'd open the midfield up because they have all their, their players on the outskirts and we have to follow them, right? Mm -hmm. Then when um, Onana would put a ball in the middle, they would all collapse. One of them nicked it off of uh, Casemiro, again, not, not doing well today. Nicked it off him, they went on a counterattack and, and, and off. The ball watching was pretty bad. That's the only goal that we conceded was a ball watching goal. Like that one. That second goal was a killer. And the second goal was, was not ball watching. It was just, I think, Lack miscommunication. Of awareness. Yes, awareness. miscommunication because. There were three of them all lined up, right? And uh, ABC, who wants to head the ball first? <laughs> <laughs> well, again, I think that that's them trying to play in desperation ball. And that's, again, not the way you want to be. You want to be on the front foot, not on the back foot. Right. On a scale of 1 to 10, what would you give United's performance oh today? Scale of 1 to 10. Don't be shy. I've heard some crazy... I'll give you number. one. I'll, I'll give him a, a... It's a 4. I'll give him a 4. It's the a lowest four. we've got so far, 4. It's you. a 4. Uh, for me, it's kind of weird, so I have to kind of average it out. As far as creativity and trying to score is a nine, right? Trying to. Because we were offsides more times yeah, than we were yeah. onsides. If if any, if any, you take two of those onside, offsides off, we win the game. Right? So I think, again, this is where gelling needs to happen. When they gel, like we, we talked about this earlier as well, the goal that M Marcus Rasher scored two years ago when he was invincible on his own, we didn't have the invincibles. We had the invincible, the one. Uh, Bruno saw that Rashford will always make the early run. So as soon as the ball comes into his feet, he goes, I know Rashford's going. He released the ball. He didn't even look half the time. He just fucking send the ball forward, right? And then Rashford would run onto it and score. Right. Now what they're doing is they're looking up two or three times. Rashford's already gone. And, oh, well, shit, maybe I can get it to him. Ahmad, you saw Ahmad try to do it. He was going to give it to Bruno. Bruno went off sides, and he went to pass it to Rashford. Those two things thought processes, trying to figure out who to pass it to, right. is what good. got them off sides. If he just, good. Ahmad, if he, in that situation, take it, take they it. just immediately either shot the ball or pass it off immediately as soon as it came to his feet, that's a goal. So you give them a scale of one. So, 
I give them knife them. for attacking. I give them knife for attacking. But as far as just all the things that they did wrong, so now so and uh, and uh, uh, because of all the things they did wrong, it drops them down to a three. So on average, uh, three. on average, on average, on average, they're a seven for me. On average, because they creativity was there, just offsides, and then the shit play does not like ball watching. That's that's not a professional thing. You don't do that as a professional. Sitting there watching. If you want to watch the game, go sit your ass in the stands. We have capable players on the bench that want to Make play them. in the actual game. That makes sense. Man of your mm-hmm. match, best United player oh, today. Oh God! You can mention you one or two. Danny two Welbeck. players max. <laughs> oh, da- Danny Welbeck! How dare you? Um, Danny Welbeck. <laughs> oh! It was destiny, man. Like, you know, you know it's gonna happen. It's our man. He dude. did the same shit at Arsenal. <laughs> like, you, you play against Arsenal, he was there, he scored. Like, he almost scored two other times. Yeah, yeah. One, one was Anana. He shot it right at Anana. The second time, it went uh, hit the yeah, fucking yeah, post. Yeah, Anana yeah, had to slide tackle him off. <laughs> so yeah, scale of one to ten. Let's go. I mean, favorite player. Who uh, United's best player? There's only one, dude. Mister Loverman, go first. It's only one. I was going to say, like, what are you talking about? The only goal we got, the only creativity we had in the entire squad was fucking Amar. And he bleeds for the badge. As soon as he scored, what did he do? He touched the badge. Yeah, apparently, he, he, lost his, he lost his mom yesterday. He lost his stepmom. Stepmom. Okay. Yeah, but still. Let's do it. Condolences. Like, slow down. I know, Con- man. No, that's not the hell. Our condolences go to him and his family. Yeah, Look, man. I like facts, okay? Whoa, whoa. When, y'all start, uh, when y'all start spitting all this, this half guy, stuff, I'm talking about facts guy. only. Anyways. <laughs> well, from all of us, glory, glory. Man United. Man United. Until next time. <laughs>